All right, so once you follow the link that I sent you for the PSD files, uh, go ahead and click download. Once you download that, it'll take a minute. They are large files. Um, you can go ahead and go into Photoshop, open up the image that you want to be applying it to. Uh, it can just be a single, single layered image. It doesn't matter if it's on the background uh, or if you make a duplicate. Um, as you can see, we're just waiting for the Sparkler files to finish downloading. Um, and then we will go ahead and proceed with applying that. Uh, you have to make sure this is Photoshop uh, CC through CS6 or the Creative Cloud version. This does not work in Elements. Right, so the download is complete. I'm going to go over to Finder or wherever your downloads are located. I'm going to go ahead and unzip or uncompress those files. I just have to double click. You might have to right click and uncompress if you're on a PC. Double click that. It uncompresses those. Right, go ahead and open the folder. And it looked like the shape you were working on was right in here. So if you want to go ahead and right click, and I can open with, or if you have to go to Photoshop and open it, open that with Photoshop. As you can see, there is a transparent background. It's not um, a background layered image, so there is absolutely no background. Go ahead and get your lasso tool. You select the one that you want, edit, copy, go over to your other image, edit, paste. As you can see, behind it is transparent. It pasted onto a new layer. You're going to go ahead and Command T and transform that to the size you want it to be to be appropriate for the image. Go ahead and position that and continue transforming it until it looks the right size for your image. Keep moving that. That looks close. Double click when you're done. You're going to add a layer mask and get your paintbrush tool, black to remove, white to add, make sure it's at 100% opacity. Then you just start painting it black over the areas you don't want seen. So to make that look like it's a true sparkler, you paint black over the lines that you don't want to be in front of your subject. Um, if you decide that, oh, oops, I accidentally painted over something that I wanted shown, you just go ahead and switch that paintbrush back over to the white and you can apply that back on. That's what's good about using a layer mask rather than the eraser tool. So as you can see, it'll just take some time tweaking with that. Um, all the files that I sent you had a transparent background. This is how you, you use them um, and hopefully that can resolve your issues.